what happens after an argument and you still feel distant towards the person? Okay, um, I think I'll use myself as an example. Usually when, you know, I'm upset with a friend and, you know, even after the apology, I still feel some form of resentment or distance towards the person. I think what I usually do is um, give myself some space mm-hmm. and also like try to communicate how I feel to the person because at the end of the day, I think I try to take full responsibility about my own feelings yeah. because I don't expect them to... Because, you know, most times when you're upset with someone, you expect the person to come and like, you know, sort of feed your ego, yeah, like, yeah. stroke you, like, yeah, tell you that you're... Like... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had a serious argument with a friend of mine, older friend of mine, like, like eight years older than myself. And then, and then, you know, I just, I lost it. I was so mad. I was so pissed. After three days, he calls me. Okay, he chats me up. I definitely read it, but I didn't respond. So he calls me and then he's like, oh, you really don't want to take my calls. You're still back down. I'm like, yeah, definitely. Duh. So I told him my mind. I gave him space for my mind. And he's like, oh, really? Okay. God, da, 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 da. But he didn't apologize. He didn't say he was sorry. Do you know what I mean? Like he, he acknowledged that, you know, the way he spoke to me wasn't, wasn't right. But he didn't but he apologize. Did not apologize. And I'm still feeling quite distant toward him because I really want to hear that I'm sorry. He better. He better put those words to me. I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, I understand what it feels like being distant after an argument what works for me is give me time to breathe yeah give me give me some space yeah then eventually try to drag me into the friendship again or relationship but most of the time just give me space that's what works for me what works for you people you're close to read your body language and they see that sure. you're being distant it's going to affect them the same way it's affecting you and going to ruin your day for me, I don't think arguments ever have to happen. I mean, in the sense that, like, as you're arguing, I believe in effective communication because I'm okay. a mass communicator. I studied mass comm. Sorry, that's, that's irrelevant. But, like, I mean, in the sense of, like, you know, we should air everything out in the arguments and okay. then kind of try, like, semi resolve it within the argument because okay. I'm, like, a super empath. So I will apologize to you and apologize for you to myself. So we move on. If it's an argument, hash it out. Apologize. If the other person is being um, tricky is being tricky or stuck or gaslighting you, you know where you stand. Keep it moving. <laughs> Just keep it moving, honestly, because nothing trumps peace of mind. I've met a couple of girls that hate my questions. I always ask, are you okay? Um, is anything wrong? Did I hurt you? I always ask those questions because I do not like assuming. Because assumptions is, it might be this, but it might, it might not be might not even be exactly the way that you think. Or you might even be blowing it out of proportion. Exactly. So I guess, I, I guess, guess that's yeah, it. Yeah, we're out of time <laughs> anyway. Corner talk. Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hold on.